Hello, welcome to week 6, unit 6, SAP Enterprise Product Development, Adapting the User Interface. My name is Ayan Pandey. I am part of the SAP PLM customer office and I will be presenting this unit to you. In this unit, we will focus on the ways to adapt the user interface in SAP Enterprise Product Development. Let us see the overview of UI5 flexibility in the My Collaborations app. Users with the UI5 flexibility role can customize user interface controls using Adapt UI in the user profile and manage views, which is also called public variant, in the My Collaborations app. Users can change the user interface of your application in an upgrade safe and modification free way. Now let us understand how the key users UI5 flexibility works in EPD. Users with the UI5 flexibility role can customize the user interface under My Collaborations app. A key user can make UI changes and publish on behalf of the end user, like adapt the UI manage views or the variants, save UI changes as drafts, manage versions. On releasing the adapted version of the application, the changes are also available for all the end users. UI changes could be renaming a text on the UI control, like buttons, levels, etc., adding or hiding fields, rearranging fields, dragging and dropping UI elements to rearrange them, embedding content to header or section, embed content from external application or websites to your app, just like an external videos or maps or mashups. So now let us deep dive into the functionalities through a short demo. Now let us deep dive into the functionalities through a short demo. We'll log into EPD Launchpad, enter into My Collaboration app with UI5 flexibility role. It opens the collaboration list page. We select the user profile, select the adapt UI option. It suggests that there are draft changes, which we go ahead pressing OK. Now we are into the UI adaption mode. Once we are into the UI adaption mode, you can now rename certain buttons, hide or remove the UI controls, like buttons which are not required by end users. You can also bring in some buttons which are available for your selection. You know, key user adaption comes with a built-in safety net. You can then select navigation option. You can get inside the collaboration details page. Once you are within that, you can again select the UI adaption to make certain changes in the areas where it is required by your organization. Once you have made this kind of changes, you can then select navigation again to go to the right areas or let's say the tabs which you want to newly create or you want to embed certain URL into it which shall be rendered into your application. Now you can select a parameter which can be dynamically passed onto this particular URL. In this case, let's select some folder ID for your enterprise search and then the visualization option is to preview the things. Once you have seen those kind of function location, mashups, all of that, you can see certain draft and origin lab, the versions which are available, you can activate, you can discard the draft. Ultimately, you can save it for your entire end user community to reflect the changes for them. Now, let us conclude with the key takeaways. A key user can make UI changes and publish on behalf of all the end users. Users with a UI5 flexibility role can customize the user interface with the My Collaborations app. Possible things to adapt in the user interface. From embedding a map to renaming a button text. What if you delete something important or even break the app? Don't worry. Key user's adaption comes with a built-in safety net. It informs you whenever you are about to do something that's worth double checking. For example, removing mandatory fields from the UI. So you can also undo your changes and even discard them all and reset the UI to the default app. Now, I would like to invite you to the upcoming sessions during this course so that you can gain more insights into the other aspects of the SAP PLM portfolio. So, stay tuned. Thank you very much.